Welcome to the West Coast, a place of sunsets, campfires and a rich history in mining. And the towns over here are all pretty small, which is what we like. This episode we arrive into Westport and as always it's lovely to see the beach. Last episode we left you from Reefton and we are reminded of how crazy some of our roads are here in New Zealand as we drove alongside the Buller River. We see the giant sand fly to warn us that these little critters are waiting to feast on us, something anyone coming this way should be prepared for. But let's continue on our drive. Up to what is known as the famous T-Rex tree. You can totally see it looks like a T-Rex actually. I just want to feel like this Living life no regrets in the air like ooh, nothing's gonna break my mood, yeah, I just wanna feel like this. Alright, Westport NZMCA Park, here we are, 10 bucks a night, nice, secure, safe parking, beach is just through the fence. With a beautiful day here in the west coast, the solar is pumping, it's loving it. Parked up in Reefton, it was a little bit, um, a little bit shaded by that tree, but we're getting some good solar now. Got firewood for Africa down here, but a lot of it is quite wet. But we've got our fire pumping just in time for the beautiful sunset. Say what you We're mean. lighting a fire. It's really hot. It's getting warm. The sun's almost down. Yeah. We just need marshmallows. next day we were off towards the Deniston Mine, but we saw on Google Maps a spot called Neil's Eels, so we got a cheap loaf of bread to feed them. This is just on the side of the road, and man it was impressive. Those are huge! They're probably fat from being fed all the time. Oh, I touched one. Yeah, See if you can get them to feed out of the well. They just suck it. This spot does come up on Google Maps as well. If you just zoom in on Google around Westport, Neil's Eels, it pops up. Don't know how it got the name. The road which takes you up to the old Deniston mine is an adventure of its own. It's a 600 metre vertical climb on some pretty windy roads, although it isn't too steep, but you do get a few good views on the way up. Well that was quite the drive getting up that hill, about 600 metres of climbing, we're the only people up here, which is always an interesting feeling, but this is an old coal mining town, we'll go explore. So Deniston used to be a coal mining town of about 1400 people up on the top of this hill. Mining began in the 1880s, an incredible feat of its own. It would have been an incredibly challenging place to live, but there used to be schools and shops and everything a normal town has up here, but now there are only a few homes and less than 10 people living up here. Sadly docks stopped and Kiwi Guardian Post, so we're trying to find the some of them around the west coast and we found um, the one for the Deniston Post. We can show now. Shot it, Toby. Nope. <laughs> You're covering not the even wrong. covering the right thing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit sad that it's over because the kids have really enjoyed finding the um, posts on our adventures, and so now I guess we can still find the posts, but they won't get the medals anymore. 
If you don't know about Kiwi Guardian Posts, it was an initiative set up to get families exploring iconic and interesting places all over New Zealand. When you find the post, you could submit the code word and you'd be sent a little medal as a reward for your exploring. We were all amazed at the engineering required up here and nearly 150 years ago it must have been back-breaking work and that coal was carted down this mountain and over that edge right there. So from up there the trail went all the way down. You can kind of see there's still some tracks down the bottom there. Zigzagging its way down to the river, I guess. If anything else, it is a beautiful view. Looking out over there. This is a really large area and there are other places to explore. We headed 10 minutes or so to another area where we walked along a river in an old cart tramway to a large fan house. Our thoughts around this area shifted a bit when we realised how much mining remains are left rusting away in the rivers. Almost seems like some of the buildings and the steel and iron have just been pushed over the hillside. Well I'm glad environmental practices have improved a lot since back in the day because this river is just full of all the old steel cabling that's just been allowed to be left here from a long time ago but mate you wouldn't want to be swimming or using anything out of this river, look at it. And this trail is 1.5 kilometres and this cabling runs all the way through to that incline which is several kilometres away from here. So this is the fan house which still stands, built in 1904, it's pushed air into the mine or it could suck stale air out, so it kept fresh air for the workers that were underground. Nice new roof. That is a fresh out mate. Whoa it's like so wet. Beautiful sunset on our way down from the mine. I ran out of battery so I've given a little top up in the truck. So high up there. We spent way more time up at the Deniston mines than we thought. Lots of exploring to do up there. And um, I don't think anyone got bored. Well we've come out to the Cape Fowwind. Not windy today which is nice because it's such a beautiful day. If you're going to walk up to the lighthouse there's a seal colony here and some pretty stunning like rocks out off the coast so might put the drone up and have a look see what it's all about so I've been uh, riding her bike this morning so she is meeting us out here about a 25-30k bike ride so good on her today is gonna be the best day in my life well wouldn't that be nice if life was like the movie sometimes I forget to write myself into the story so every time that I don't feel right I find someone I love and tell them I just want to
our friends making music in the studio. Write a couple songs, maybe hear them on the radio. There was definitely plenty of seals down there to see, but the camera, which is a little bit far away to be able to show you them properly. And look, what do you know? Another Kiwi Guardian post to add to our collection. Yay! So that's all for this one folks. I'm about to start a huge amount of work at the Gentle Annie campground. I'll do my best to pump some videos out but the social media might get a bit quiet over the next couple of weeks. Next video though, we're free camping at Hector and checking out Charming Creek. We'll see you in the next episode.